What's up guys, my name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. A couple of months ago, a company that had a lot of hype behind it IPO'd in July. And I'm talking about Lemonade. Now since Lemonade IPO'd, the share price jumped up pretty significantly and then it fell pretty significantly. But with some recent news as of today, are they now a buy or not? If you don't recognize the name Lemonade, it's okay. We're going to explain who that is. But just know it has nothing to do with the drink and it has absolutely nothing to do with Beyonce. What it does deal with though is insurance and the stock market. Lemonade was touted as an industry disruptor like Amazon, Tesla, Airbnb, etc. This is how they claim they are different than the traditional insurance companies other than being completely online. Traditional insurance companies make money by keeping the money they don't pay out in claims. This means whenever they pay your claim, they lose profit. This is why getting your claims paid fast and in full is sometimes so hard. Lemonade was built differently. In essence, we treat premiums as if they were still your money and return unclaimed remainders in our annual give back. Give back is a unique feature of Lemonade where each year leftover money is donated to causes our policyholders care about. We treat policyholders who care about the same causes as virtual groups of peers. Lemonade uses the premiums collected from each peer group to pay for the group's claims, giving back any leftover money to their common cause, and uses reinsurance to cover for cases where the group's claims exceed what's left in the pool. This way our customers enjoy amazing insurance and society gets a little push for the better. It also means that unlike traditional insurance companies, we're not in conflict with our customers. So we're happy to pay claims fast and with no hassle. But full disclosure, there are people that say that those claims are only paid out instantly at about a rate of 30%. Although the concept seems like a good idea, and it is a good idea. I especially like the pet insurance. And I'll tell you who else really likes the pet insurance. Mia. This is Ben and Jelly. However, they are not yet seeing profits. Lemonade, not the dogs. Lemonade also just announced they are expanding more in Europe and more specifically, France. They already have a footprint in the Netherlands and Germany. Home insurance is often legally required in France, which automatically makes it a compelling opportunity for Lemonade's next European country launch, said Daniel Schreiber, Lemonade CEO and co-founder. While the French insurance market is one of the most developed globally, we believe that Lemonade's unique mix of value, values, and technology will stand out to the French consumer offering the ability to get fast, personalized, and mission-driven insurance from the comfort of any phone. Lemonade is licensed and supervised by the Dutch Central Bank and has its headquarters for Europe in Amsterdam. <clears throat> they will also have the added benefit of being based on the company's policy 2.0. It is considered a new kind of insurance policy for the modern day. Like me, Policy 2.0 is short, easy to understand, and transparent. Its design makes it easy for a normal person to understand it without having to be an attorney. Now, Lemonade reported a loss of $21 million in their first quarter. Not their first quarter of business, but their first quarter of being a publicly traded company. They had a loss of $36.5 million in the first quarter. Lemonade currently has a customer base of over 814,000, and they're still not even being used in every state just in the U.S. But that number is four times bigger than it was in 2018. So there is a lot of potential for growth in the U.S. And that's not even including what they're doing in Europe with the, with the recent news that they're expanding their footprint into France. And I hope that there is potential there for you to like this video and subscribe. They closed out today at $47.28, and you can see the drop here. They are far off from their 52-week high of almost $100, but they are very close to that low of $42. But remember, this company just got listed and went public a couple months ago. However, those financial numbers I was mentioning earlier with, with, uh, with the amount of loss that they've seen in the past two quarters, it shows that the company is moving in the right direction as they continue to expand. But with that much loss being had, there's a lot of investors that are just not willing to put their money in there yet because they don't feel like it's ripe for the picking. Zing, get it? Lemons? No? Sorry. There has been other companies that were supposed to be disruptors, IPO, and then it, it kind of fell flat and some fell substantially. Two of those being Uber and Lyft. Uber right now is currently 16%-ish. 
down and Lyft is around 60% down. But look at Facebook. Facebook had a, a big run up in their share price as it approached the IPO date. Then there was a big sell off, the share price dropped and I think it worked out for them. So I guess the point is, even though Lemonade is down pretty substantially, there's still potential there for them to turn this thing around. They're only, they've only been on the market now for a couple of months. There's still a, a lot of time that they can turn this thing around. Would I consider this a buy yet? No, I wouldn't. I would personally like to see what happens over the next two quarters. I think there's still some proven that Lemonade needs to do. Uh, a lot of people think that, may, that maybe they IPO'd a little too early, and I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second. But I want to see that rate of revenue grow. I want to see what it does uh, over the next two quarters. Like I said, they had a, they had they lessened that that revenue loss up pretty a, a lot from the first quarter to the second quarter. But I want to see if they can do that for the next two quarters as well. That will show that they're moving in the right direction. Obviously, with the expansion they're doing, that's a that's a great sign. Um, nobody else is really doing what they're doing in this in this place. They've got a lot of hype behind it. They got a lot of good things going for it, but. You, we got to make sure that that foundation of the business is being ran correctly. I want to see what these numbers look like. You can say a lot of things, but I want to see the action. So to me, they have a lot more they need to prove before I invest my money. I think there's other opportunities there that may pay off uh, a, a similar way right now that may just be a safer bet. If Lemonade were to dip into the 20s or maybe the low 30s, I will cons I would start consider. Uh, getting some but right now I'm just watching but at this entry price it's still too expensive for me without having proven much of anything yet if it were to dip into the 20s and show some decent revenue growth even if they were still just a little in the red I would consider much more heavily buying some and investing my money like I mentioned earlier there is a chance that lemonade jumped into this IPO thing too quick uh, I think they could have took another year or so and 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 had their finances a little bit better but like a lot of companies that are wanting to ipo they see dollar signs and they want to ipo because they they see that the market is doing really well and there's a there's potential for a lot of money and for a lot of people to get rich but that's a very short-term vision i think it would have behooved them to stay private a little bit longer got their finances a little bit better and i think they would have been in a much better position as always i hope you like the video subscribe Please stay safe out there and take care. You have a lot of stuff and you love the things you own. You never want anything bad to happen to them. That's why you get insurance. But old insurance kind of sucks. You pay every month. Then when you need help, they give you the runaround. It's because they make money when they say no. That's wrong. Lemonade is different. When you pay, we take a small flat fee. The rest goes to covering your stuff. So if something happens, we pay super fast. And since we don't have brokers, we're super cheap. All this is available from the comfort of your smartphone. But here's the best part. Most years, we'll have money left over. We take that cash and we give back to causes that matter to you. This is what insurance was always meant to be. Protecting people and strengthening communities. That's what we're all about. That's Lemonade.